Hi guys, my name is Serena Poon and welcome to my show, Serena Loves. As a celebrity chef and nutritionist, my passion is rooted in helping others live their best life through nutrition, education, and healing intuition. With each episode, I'm going to share with you little golden nuggets of inspiration and tips that I love to help guide you on your path of optimal body and mind wellness. Today, I'm so excited to introduce you my very special guest, Jessica mm -hmm. Luango of Naturally Clean Eats. She's a badass boss mom. Um, and we actually met on Instagram. We did. It was very kind of like random. You reached out to me and you wanted to send me a box of bars and we ended up meeting and just sort of like fell in love. Yeah, we did. It was history after that. It was. I mean, we kind of bonded over being, you know, budding entrepreneurs, both creating products that were making life easier for new people. So, I mean, for, for people to be healthy. Yes. So tell me a little bit about Naturally Clean Eats and what inspired you and how you got started. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, I feel very honored that you love Naturally Clean Eats so much because so much. I do think that we have this similar, you know, goal, which is to help people eat healthier mm -hmm. and make easier decisions on food because sometimes it's really confusing. There's a lot of products out there. Absolutely. And it's really hard for someone who doesn't really understand reading labels or doesn't have time to read the labels. You know, everything is just off first glance. It says organic or it mm -hmm. says, you know, 12 grams of protein and automatically they're like, oh, this is the healthiest thing for me. Mm -hmm. And they grab it. So. I started making these bars out of my kitchen. Okay. I was a Pilates instructor for 10 years Love, yeah. and had my own studio in Beverly Hills. Um, I trained clients all through, you know, phases of life of us being young in our 20s to getting engaged and married and having kids. So, you know, and as you get older, it gets harder. You know, Absolutely. your time gets shorter mm -hmm. um, with the free time that you have to, again, like, go through the market aisles and read every single ingredient, make sure you're picking the healthiest things. So I started making these because when I got pregnant with my first child, mm -hmm. I was the just eating this little nugget. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you. I know she just started kindergarten. It's very crazy. So it goes <laughs> so fast. But um, but she but when I was pregnant, I mm -hmm. couldn't digest a lot of the bars sure. on the market because you know, I was one of those people who, you know, I thought I ate really healthy and right. really clean and I cooked a lot for myself. But mm -hmm. when it came to convenience foods, that's when I looked to the stores and the markets right. for, you know, them to kind of give me an easy way out. Mm -hmm. And I started realizing that a lot of the bars that were high protein were also very high sugar or there were sweeteners or some kind of substitute in there to substitute the flavor for you know what I was actually eating and um, I started making my own bars just because I was having a hard time digesting the ones that I was buying in the market mm -hmm. my doctor suggested that I stop eating all bars because mm -hmm. he's like none of those are good for you there's so much stuff in them yeah and he's just like you know they're so overly processed Absolutely. and um, you know if most if you look at most bars they have a shelf life of a year mm -hmm. which just goes to show like how little real food is in them mm -hmm. because they can stay on the shelves for a long time um, so I started making my own I started giving them to clients and I didn't put any protein powders or anything in them because I just feel like everybody's different on what they can digest mm -hmm. and I also felt like some of my clients had kids already so a lot of the people who were buying them were also sharing them with their children and moms don't really want to give their kids supplements I mean I don't want to sure. you know they have a mm -hmm. chewable multivitamin that they take in the morning and that's it mm -hmm. so I started making these and just giving them to clients then people wanted to buy them mm -hmm. people started asking oh you know I think I should have these in my office these yeah. are a great thing for the office oh I want to put these in my kids lunch boxes so I just thought you know let's just make a small round and see how they do and brilliant they just and that's how it happened it did it just exploded and it's been it's been a great ride so far yeah you guys are just you're everywhere now Tell yeah. us a little bit about what's in the bars. Sure. They're so yummy. Well, they're just a nut butter and date base. Okay. So um, it's just like an organic peanut butter, organic mm -hmm. cashew butter. We add in the dates. So it becomes this really nice texture as well. It doesn't get stuck in your teeth, but it's not super um, 
like gummy or flimsy or mm -hmm. anything like that. And then we add in hemp seed, chia seed, flax seed, um, a little bit of Himalayan pink sea salt and some cinnamon and that's it. We don't add any flavor. Um, a lot of bars have natural flavors if you read the back of the label, mm -hmm. which are a chocolate or a vanilla or something like that. We don't do that. Um, I just personally wanted to keep them as super real and clean as possible. Sure, you're giving them to kids. Yeah, so exactly. They need to be as wholesome as possible. Yeah, I wanted them, to, I wanted a bar that was a real family food, mm -hmm. you know, something that I could eat, something that my husband who, you know, is all about like, oh, protein and working out and lifting weights also wanted to eat. Mm -hmm. And then my kids who only care about taste. Right. So <laughs> <laughs> they don't care how much sugar is in it. Right. So the whole bar has seven grams of sugar and that's for every single flavor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's 220 calories. We keep it right in the middle of either a really substantial snack or a small meal paired with something else like, you know, um, a banana or a smoothie or, you know, even a latte if you want, like if you're on the go or you don't really eat a lot in right. the morning or something. So, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Great yeah. for the beach, for the picnic, for after working out, kind of good yes. for everything. Yes. And they don't have to stay refrigerated. Right. That's that's the best part. Yeah. I think there's some great bars out there, but they do. And it's not convenient. You can't carry a cooler around with you all the time. So right. Exactly. Great. Yeah. So you guys have, you, you've just grown so much. I mean, in it's, it's only been about a year, right? Yeah. So, and you're just recently launched in Target. We Target, did. guys. It's <laughs> big time. So it's my favorite place to shop. So tell us a little <laughs> bit more about that. And, you know, what is, uh, tell us more about Target and what's coming up in the, in the rest of the, of the year. Sure. Um, well, first of all, we will launch two more flavors by the end of this year. So, yes. So we will do a um, one that's a purple package and one that's a red. So on the shelves, it will look like every color of the rainbow. I love it. Which has always been the goal. Yes. Eat um, the rainbow. Yes, exactly. Eat the rainbow. Eat your, eat your colors. So that is very exciting. So we are in the process of developing those two new flavors, that's which awesome. I'm so excited to share um, when they're ready. Yay, uh, we can't wait. I know. You have to come back and bring some. I will. Out. I'll bring some for everybody. Yeah, I um, would love that. Yes. And then uh, with Target, we are doing our testing in the mm -hmm. LA market. So we're in eight LA Targets so far. Mm -hmm. And um, it's up to us kind of if we want to take on more LA Targets or we want to go straight and pitch to national. Mm -hmm. So we are getting set up with the national buyer right now. Mm -hmm and we will go pitch to national and then nationally Target will say, okay, here's all of California, which is 200 stores. That's so amazing. Right, or here's, um, you know, the here's California and New York, or here's California and Chicago. So mm -hmm. it depends on how, how much they want to let us expand, right. how great our products are doing in these LA testing right now. You know, the more we sell, the better it looks. The more people request us, the more they say, hey, there's a demand for this product. Yeah. Let's bring it into more DCs and let's kind of get them everywhere. I know, and the more I see it on Instagram, everywhere, I love how active you are and how much you mm -hmm. post and share everyone's stories. And I mean, it's, um, I'm so proud of you and Aww. so happy for you. Thank you. So this is so much. I mean, you're a mom, two kids, you're doing this. I mean, how do you, how do you manage it? How, do you have any tips for, you know, aspiring mom entrepreneurs, yes. blossoming mom entrepreneurs? I do because I feel like there's a lot of moms, you know, that I know or just friends who are on this tipping point of wanting to become a mother but not wanting to give up their career. And, you know, I just want to say there's, there's time for all of it. I think that, you know, your partner, whoever you're with, um, you know, that kind of communication between them before you launch a company is really important. Mm -hmm. Just letting them know, you know, this is something that I really want to do and I want to, I want you to be supportive of it. Yeah. So, you know, just kind of having that equal respect. Um, and I think men, as you know, I can only speak for my husband and of course my dad, like my mom was always a working mom, so mm -hmm. they get it. Right. But, you know, it's, it's nice to come home from your days and you both had work days and it kind of gives you that conversation over dinner and you still have equal respect for each other as far as, you know, there's no like, that's your job with the kids. Right. You know, it's just like, this is our yeah. job. Yeah, we balance. You're we a like, team. We're a team and we joke, you know, we like tag each other out. Like, you know, like I have to go to this, 
it's your turn or it's switch. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we have help. We have um, babysitters. My mom helps a lot. Uh, oh, that's nice. Which is really mm -hmm. nice. So, you know, because everything comes up with kids, especially right. when they're really young. But, you know, they have so many vacation days <laughs> that you never realize. You're like, oh, gosh, you're out for two weeks. Like, what are we going to do? Um, and, you know, we had full-time help for a while. And then just when both of our kids were in school full-time, we, um, you know, she went with a family who needed her more. And so now it's just, it's definitely this balancing act yeah. of like pulling someone here and there. We have a lot of great people that we can call on That's for that extra help. But, um, but yeah, I guess the big thing is, is just making sure that that communication is open inside the home. Mm -hmm. And then there's no misunderstanding when you do have to go to a meeting or, you know, you both have something at the same time. Mm -hmm. Okay, whose is more important? You know, you just kind of make it work. And I think that that's the biggest thing for moms or for people who like want to start their own thing but are worried, you know, well, who's going to pick my kid up from school or who's going to do this? Just have the conversation yeah, and just see where, because a lot of people, you don't realize, like, there are just so many people who you don't have to hire a full-time nanny, but just get a babysitter. Mm -hmm. Maybe they come for a couple hours after school so you can do your thing, you know. Take and you your can, meetings. Yeah, Meet you can people. take your meetings or you know, work outside the house, right. but still have time to work. I mean, even working in the house, there's, it's not much work when the kids are home. Sure. So, well, how you much do they help you with recipe testing? Oh yeah, they're my testers. <laughs> they're my most honest, uh, you know, people who they try the bars and they say like, yes, mommy, I like it. So or, it no. has to be approved. It has to be approved. Yeah. Yes. And you know, my husband's just as picky. So. Yeah. <laughs> He's my good. third child. Well, I'm so grateful that you came on today. Mm -hmm. What can I do for you? Is there any sort of like health issue or a challenge that you or maybe someone that you love is experiencing that I can give you a little nugget of love? Um, you know, tip? I mean, I'm always curious as what you what you suggest to your clients like to whip up for a fast dinner because I feel like I have my same things on mm -hmm. repeat a lot right you know I have like my four or five meals that I always cook mm -hmm. and you are always coming up with these beautiful meals and beautiful snacks and I'm always in awe of you and I'm like, <laughs> You're oh, so I just want to make what Serena makes or I just want to have her come over and make it for me so how do you set up your week for your meal prep or for your clients so that it kind of sets me and I'm sure everybody listening or watching, mm -hmm. you know, up for success so that you don't. Well, I think meal prep is really important. You know, yeah. if you can just find one day a week where it's almost like like a Sunday, it's sort of your family day, your Zen day. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't sound like meal prep is Zen, but it can be, you know, it can be fun, especially if you're doing it with your family or your kids. Yeah. I love roasting off vegetables, you know, because I think that's yeah. a great way. You can eat it cold, you can throw it in a salad, you can mm -hmm. have it as a side dish, you can easy to receive easy to reheat yeah um and also you know a lot of these vegetables that we roast say carrots or potatoes or you know the root vegetables they're actually very grounding yeah you know so it's something that when we're all so busy yeah you know, it's a great way that as you're eating you feel like you're also nurturing totally. your body you're eating something from the earth you know yeah. that's sort of part of my healing aspect you know and the energy work that I do with the food as mm -hmm. well so prep is always like my go-to and I think making yourself a lot of like dips and sauces you know that's a yeah. great way to have quick snacks you know something that you can just throw on a salad I mean so do you like a lot of um, those almond yeah dips? yeah I, I love like those are so dips. popular now oh they're so good with a little bit of like you know aminos in it whether it's coconuts yeah. or like brags in it it's so gonna need it's really easy oh you. I'll send them to you <laughs> yeah so I love I throw guac in so many things I can't even tell you because it's such a good healthy fat I love guac. and it kind of satiates that little need for a little bit of sodium and it's yeah. healthy yeah so it's great for your kids it's great for your family you right. can use it any of the day right so if you don't have all the plenty of guac and toast right so it's perfect for breakfast lunch or dinner exactly so yeah. good i'm so thank glad you came so on you're so welcome thank you Ooh.